So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate CC. In this tutorial I'm going to explain what a trigger, a label, and an action is in Edge Animate. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is select this text tool and I'm going to type in play. That way when someone selects this, they're going to play the animation. Now at the beginning of the timeline, I'm going to press Ctrl T and we're going to select stop. That's a trigger. Ctrl T stands for trigger and we're going to close that out. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the timeline. Control L, that's for a label, and we're going to type in animation. Now, the reason why you want to create a label on the timeline is because you're directing someone to this area on the timeline. So let's think about that. Let's scrub to the beginning of the timeline, right click on the text, open actions, and we're going to select click, then play, and then in quotations, animation. And then you're going to play that point in the timeline where the animation label is. So let's close this out. We're going to add the pointer finger, so when somebody rolls over this button, they're going to see the pointer finger. So now over here in the animation, we're going to take this ellipse tool, and we're going to create a circle. And let's add a gradient here, and we're going to select a radial gradient. And also we can select a different hue if we want to for the ball. First thing that we want to do is select a keyframe right here where animation is. We're also going to select a keyframe for the width and height. And then we're just going to move this ball down. And then when it moves back up, we're going to make this 121. Now what we can also do is put another trigger here, and we can make this repeat and loop. Add another trigger, Control T, and select Play, and then Animation in Quotations. So now what's happening is that this ball is just going to keep looping over here, just like this. It's going to look like a bouncing ball. So let's test this out and press Control Enter. That's the play button. We're going to select that. And there you go. There's your bouncing ball. Now some of you might be asking, how can you put a stop button there? So let's close this out and let's try that. Let's go to the beginning of the timeline and we're going to type in stop. Control L and let's call this stop. Now we're going to right click on the stop button and select open actions. Click. Play. In quotations, stop. And we're also going to put a cursor here for the pointer. So let's test this again. Control Enter, play, and then stop. So that's pretty much it. That's how you use triggers, actions, and labels in Adobe Edge Animate CC. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.